I thought I would do a video about Zoso. The reason why I felt like I would do this video is because it keeps popping up. So um, I thought I would share my opinions. Let's keep in mind these are my opinions based on what I've seen and heard. And that is all I'm sharing here tonight. Nobody can say for certain except for Jimmy Page himself. And I'm going to share my opinions on that. So I became familiar with Led Zeppelin, say, around 1981-ish, give or take a year. And um, they absolutely were my favorite band all through high school. Since then, um, in my adult years, it's come out some controversy about uh, stealing people's songs and whatnot. I don't want to get into all that. But the point is, um, the very first song I ever heard that got me into Led Zeppelin was Stairway to Heaven, which I'm sure almost everybody's um, heard that song. And um, that song comes from their Led Zeppelin 4 album. If you've ever owned the album or CD before everybody just bought things online you saw the cover work, you know that there was a symbol or a sigil created for each one of the band members. And the Zoso symbol or sigil was the one that was associated with Jimmy Page. And the feather or quill was associated with Robert Plant. The three circles with the other larger circle, obviously for John Bonham, which makes sense for the drummer. Looks like a drum kit almost when you look at it. And then the final symbol belongs to the bassist. So I pulled out my big Zeppelin book a friend of mine got me that came with um, all of their music to be able to show the symbols and um, for reference for a reference point and to also share some of the common knowledge associated with them. Now in recent years since the internet's really taken off kids have developed this sort of urban legend revolving around Zoso and that he's this evil demon or entity that comes through in Ouija boards and you know at first he's nice and then he'll trick you and then all chaos ensues blah 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 blah. The reason I even found out about this was because my daughter came to me, my youngest daughter who's in her early teens, asking me about Zoso. And I laughed. I said, that's the symbol for Jimmy Page on the Led Zeppelin 4 album. She said, oh no, he's this demon that comes through Ouija boards and the only way to get rid of him is to burn the Ouija board and all this sort of thing. So I explained to her that I felt like um, this had become an urban legend. And it seems to me, from what I've seen recently online, a lot of um, videos, particularly revolving around Ouija boards, that kids have kind of gotten online and this has sort of developed into this huge thing to where it went from a sigil that was created by a man who was read and studied Aleister Crowley and then they took it and ran with it and it became this sort of urban legend and like any other thought form it's developed perhaps a little traction behind it because now these kids even hear the word Zoso, which I don't believe it was intentionally meant to be a word, I believe it was originally drawn like a sigil, just like we would make a sigil. Um, Jimmy Page himself created four graphics or four symbols or four sigils one to represent each member of the band for their Led Zeppelin IV album. So it's not like he created symbols or sigils for three of them and gave himself the word of a, of a known demon or anything. I think he created these um, symbols or sigils to lend to the success of the band, which it most certainly did. That was by far one of their most well-known albums ever. And um, I think that was his pure intent. Now, like any other sigil that's created, the user, or the, the creator of that sigil, once they make it, 
Nine times out of ten, they're not going to share it with anybody, and if they do, they're not going to tell the true meaning behind it. Now, I did share a very simple one that could have two benevolent meanings a month or so back, but that's not like sharing a personal sigil that I've created for my own purposes, etc. So, my belief is that this sigil was taken out of context and there was all this mystery surrounding particularly Jimmy Page and his following of Aleister Crowley and that tends to freak people out to even hear the name Crowley and um, a lot of people, I know when I was even in school, a lot of people talked about the um, backward masking that was on the album, the Led Zeppelin IV album, which I obviously, I did have the album, and my sister and I did play it backwards, and there definitely was some backward masking on the album. Whether it was a joke, whether they really believed it put some power into it, who can say? I'm not here to argue that point. I think just all this hype built up behind it, and now it's gotten on the internet, and it's become this massive thing that it was never intended to be. And the more people focus on something, and, the, and especially the thoughts that are fearful, they can kind of conglomerate and create this bigger thing. Any entity can cling on to that and make it its own. If there's enough energy and thought behind it in the astral, it can choose to use it to become its own thing. So that's what I think has happened. Um, my daughter heard about this when she was, I think the big thing at the time was Slenderman. If y'all don't know, Slenderman, I think most people are familiar because of the horrible court case with the two girls. But, you know, kids like to get online and find scary stories and scare each other and scare themselves. Just like going to a haunted house for the fun of it or watching a scary movie or whatever, just all in fun. And I think it just took off from there. So, I just want to say that I think if um, people who are more knowledgeable about the Ouija boards could kind of dispel that myth or help people to kind of put it to rest and not keep feeding into it, that would go a long way <laughs> towards helping these kids to know the right things and um, not keep feeding into these fearful urban legends. Now at this point, you know, very well could have taken form, at least in the astral, and fed off of all this. It may be a real thing at this point. I don't know. I've never faced any demon that came through a Ouija board and created havoc and all this sort of nonsense. Um, I do have my own experiences with Ouija boards, and one was positive, most were neutral, and one was a little freaky, but I mean, beyond that, I just kind of wanted to put this out there because I keep hearing these kids uh, especially and now some adults feeding into this sort of like urban myth that's now becoming this thing and um, I just wish people would actually really research things and understand what they're talking about before they perpetuate the myth or perpetuate the fear especially with these young kids that are just learning things and sometimes picking up half truths and half bits of information so um yeah not a big deal really but I, it just keeps popping up so i thought you know i put my two cents out there for what it's worth and um, if anybody wants to keep the conversation going leave some comments down below i'm not going to feed into any arguments about it um, my family by the way we don't believe in arguing we believe everybody has a right to their opinion whether you agree or not so um, let's keep it respectful if it does develop some comments down below. If anybody does get disrespectful, um, I'll just delete the comment. All right, y'all. I hope this finds everybody having a good evening, and I appreciate you watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, and I hope you're having a good night. Bye.